Hey everybody, what is up? Caleb here from The Robertson Effect with a quick little vlog so I have something to upload this Wednesday while I'm at camp. Um, just wanted to vlog real quickly about something that's been on my mind of lately. And uh, it's a topic regarding music and people's opinion as music. Opinion as music, opinion of music, and how their opinions in their own heads become facts to them. And that is not how music or opinions is supposed to work, but we're just going to focus on the music aspect of this today. And maybe uh, you guys will learn a little sum sum from what I'm talking talking about to you guys. A big problem, I'm hesitating on calling it a problem because I'm not really sure if it's a real problem because it's easily a first world problem. But anyway, people nowadays all have a certain kind of music that they like. Even if they tell you they don't like music, there's always that one kind of music that they won't turn off that comes on their car radio by accident. Now, the problem is, let me turn off my phone, people are stating a fact, generally, oh, this kind of music is stupid, or this kind of music is bad, or this kind of music is crappy, so on and so on, etc., etc. But I don't think that's what we should be doing. I think you have a right to voice your opinion on the music even though people in the room with you or people you're chatting with might not appreciate your opinion at the time. Um, but you certainly have the right to voice your opinion on the kind of music. But try and state it like something other than a fact. For example, oh, I don't really like this kind of music, and here's why. And make sure you give a reason so you don't sound like an inconsiderate jerk and just hating on everybody's music that they might enjoy. And then maybe you could get topics going or whatever. I don't, I don't care about all that aftermath stuff. But uh, approaching this subject, I think we need to be a little more considerate and opinionated than um, inconsiderate and factual. And well, this is just me. I'm very into music, I'm very into all kinds of music, and I'm willing to listen to anything that people want to put on that makes them happy. As long as music is making other people happy, I'm so happy that music's doing that for other people. So it's really easy to please me when it comes to that kind of thing. But I also think people should start opening up their minds a little bit and their ears to um, different kinds of music. I, I know so many people that are stuck in a musical rut and they just don't get out of that because they feel comfortable listening to that kind of music and that kind of music is uh, either nostalgic for them or it makes them happy or it makes them angry. Some people like music that makes them angry and I don't get that, but whatever. I specifically like folk music and indie rock or indie folk and folk rock. You know, that kind of area of the music world. That's my personal favorite, but I'm more than happy to uh, listen to country with somebody or listen to heavy metal with somebody. Those are my two least favorite kind of musics, but I'm still, still happy to listen to them. I might make a few jokes depending on the current company and the mood of the room, like make jokes about the country or the heavy metal music and, you know, just societal jokes that are funny, or at least I think are funny. I don't think people should be in such a musical rut. I think if someone else gives you an idea or a suggestion for music, listen to that. Just find five minutes and listen to two songs by an artist somebody suggested. Or even find two minutes and listen to one song somebody suggested. It does not hurt to just sit through a song and maybe let the new sounds grow on you or even give you a reason to state your opinion about how you don't like it. If you're just going out there to your friends and saying, oh, this kind of music's stupid, and it ends there, period, no one's, people aren't going to like that. People aren't going to like you because there's no reason behind your opinion that you're stating as a fact. I'm kind of rambling on here, but I want this vlog to be a little longer than two minutes. Um, here's an example. For the last four years, I've been in a group of guys four of us, um, who play music. We play at our church, we play at our youth group, we play random concerts, we play, you know, just the usual new um, garage group music stuff. Um, 
and we all come from different genres of music. Like I said, I like indie folk, folk, folk rock, all that good stuff. Um, one of the band members likes um, modern music, you know, the stuff you hear on the radio, the top 50 songs of the day. Um, another one likes lots of 80s rock, and another one likes country music. And those are all over the spectrum. You pretty much just defined the, um, the only one we left out, the only ones we left out are uh, heavy metal and rap, but that's kind of hard to play in a church youth group. <laughs> but um, somehow for four years we've made it work, and we probably because we uh, all come from different genres of music and we can all put a little input in from the music that we like to listen to, and it gives us our own unique sound because we come from so many different areas of music. So, that's pretty much it for today. I think before I go, I just want to restate one more time. If you don't like some music somebody's listening to, opinionate that you don't like it. Don't factuate that you don't like it. I am probably just made up those two words, but you know what I'm saying. And uh, if you don't like that music, give some reason behind it. Don't just, uh, this song's dumb because it's slow. That's not a good reason. Slow music's fine. Yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching this vlog. Sorry I didn't go out and do anything cool or edit anything good. This is just a little talkity vloggity that I wanted to say to you. Um, and maybe change how you deal with other people listening to music. Now go open Spotify or iTunes or whatever and find one group you've never heard of before out of your comfort zone of music and listen to three or four of their songs. And if you don't like it, find another one until you start liking something else. Get out of that musical rut, and I don't know. If you're watching this and you don't know my Twitter, comment below um, a new artist you found. Or if you want some artists, I can suggest quite a few. And if you are following me on Twitter, at Psych3040, you can tweet at me something new you would like me to listen to, something new you listen to. Um, or something new everybody should listen to. Whatever. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and share and, you know, all that random stuff that will help me out a lot. Go check out Try Hard Games and Try Hard Films and stay tuned for more stuff. Thanks, guys. Peace out.